Hi, my name's Noel Batten. I qualified as a natural therapist in Australia, but right now I'm sitting in my hotel room in Ontario, Canada, while treating autoimmune patients on a treatment tour that I arranged after being called all over the world. The reason I've been travelling throughout the world to treat people is because from a 200-year-old book written by Dr James Parkinson, I discovered that he found the real cause of Parkinson's disease way back in the early 1800s and coincidentally I created a new natural treatment program from the same ideals. This has enabled me to firstly put a stop to the suffering that all Parkinson's patients I treat within a day or so and secondly to help many of them walk away from walking frames and wheelchairs and help others into remission in only a matter of days. I'm telling you, the medical profession and the chiropractic and naturopathic professions are way off track in the principles they teach in the accreditation training about autoimmune disorders. Keep in mind, I discovered these things while being a simple natural therapist. For someone with a better education than I, the knowledge that I have could easily be improved on to represent a major opportunity in being the very first practitioner to introduce this new treatment to the world. This new and very unique approach to health has enabled me to help patients diagnosed with any of 22 so-called incurable rigidity autoimmune disorders including diabetes, MSA, IBS, emphysema and COPD. For this new treatment that I've discovered to be utilised efficiently, medical doctors, chiropractors and physical therapists will need to work together after going through a retraining program. My name is Michael Frederick. What is your age? 67 years old. And you're living at the moment in an assisted living centre? Correct. The fact that I had fallen a couple times and I didn't have anybody there to help me. And I was having a problem taking my medicines on a timely basis. So your memory wasn't as good as you would like it to be? <laughs> That's correct. Okay. And when you walk for any distance, you need the walking front, correct? Yes. When was the last time you jogged? I can't remember. It's beyond... Beyond your memory? Memory, yeah. Could you tell me the name of the neurologist who gave you a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease? Her name is Peckham, Elizabeth Peckham. Dr. Elizabeth Peckham. Did she do an MRI? No. So she didn't look to see if you had any lesions on your brain or spinal cord? No. So she made her diagnosis simply by watching you? Yes. She wanted me to walk and um, what else? Did, did she you get you to touch it? Yes. Right. And the nose starts and the eyes. And right.
So she made her diagnosis based on your ability to move, your balance, your walking, and your ability to touch your finger on your nose. Yes, that's pretty much it. Okay. The fact that I probably have Parkinson's. She said you probably have Parkinson's. I think she have said that. And she then recommended you go on pharmaceutical medications? Yeah, she did. She gave me something that I had no idea. Did it do you any good? I really don't think anything that I've taken so far has been considered good. Right. Before I came here, were you walking without the, the walker at all? Maybe once in a while. Are you ready? ready? Whenever you weren't ready, you go for it. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. He hasn't done that for several years. No. Wow. I gotta ask, I gotta ask, what's it feel like to be able to jog again? It feels real good, <laughs> very good. You're nearly gonna feel the wind in your face if you go any faster. I'm pretty happy with what's going so far. How long has it been since you've been able to jog? Probably close to, a, close to two years. 